Hi, and welcome to Cracking the Box. This is Jim Starkweather with Kitmaker Network. Um, today we've got the uh, Dragon Models uh, 172nd scale Apollo 17, uh, titled The Last J Mission. This one has the uh, command um, space module, the lunar module, and the lunar rover, and it includes a base and pretty much everything you see here except for the, the Earth. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside, shall we? Uh, inside the kit, we've got uh, a decal sheet with quite a few uh, decals here. Get a better look at that a little bit later, I think. Um, some brass photo etch uh, dishes, uh, communications dishes. Um, we've got uh, one bag of plastic here with some of the command space module, the CSM module stuff, some of the figures. Um, and parts of the lunar module. And Sorry, parts of, uh, I'm not sure what those are. I won't speculate. More of the command mo uh, space module, CSM. Um, and then the, <clears throat> the very nicely done gold. Um, let's see, go ahead and open this for you guys. While you're getting a look at the, the base there. But uh, this is the, uh, the done for you kind of uh, gold foil effect. Yeah, remember the older kits had the, the gold foil that you'd actually put on. But this gives you a much more realistic effect with all the texture and so forth. You can see that. Um, and then the base, which is a fairly large base. Um, this base looks like it includes a arm taped to the bottom here for the uh, CSM. Yeah. So... That's going to go in over here, I would assume, to give you this kind of effect of it maybe in the background or something. Um, nicely uh, texturized here for the moon surface. Looks good. Here. And then you've got your instruction sheet. Very, very small. Gives you an overview of your, your parts, uh, what parts are not being used in gray. Um, typical of Dragon. Um, goes through the the lunar uh, rover, the um, the CSM, and the, the lunar module assembly. Includes a standing astronaut and looks like a seated astronaut, probably for the lunar rover. I'm guessing well, they don't show one in the picture. Um, all right, well let's take a look at the let's look at some of the plastic, shall we? For that, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a bit. And uh, bear with me because. Um, I always get people to say, oh, I should open all this stuff in advance, and da 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 Well, I don't do it because, essentially, um, A, it takes more time, and B, uh, I want you to kind of see the, or follow along with me as we're seeing the kit as we're seeing the kit. So, um, that's one of the reasons I put this way. All right, so... So you can take out the parts and da 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 da. Well, I don't do that also because essentially um, it's just it's a lot more time to produce the video. So just pretend you're kind of watching along like a like a webcam -y video thing as I'm doing something. And uh, you can always have this in the background if you're doing something else, obviously. Building a model, right? Uh, here's the uh, one of the, the upper areas, I think, of the... Uh, the lunar module. I'm not sure if that fits into the bottom. Maybe it's at the bottom piece, I think, maybe. Which is not done in gold, obviously. But uh, And here's some, some of the uh, lunar module portions. Um, all looks really good. I mean, I'm no expert on this. Like I said, I, I built the, probably, I'm assuming a, a Revell kit way back in the 70s, but I uh, haven't done any of the new ones, so um, just go with me again here. And that's the back. Uh, so you've got more of the uh, 
the areas which I assume would be gold. Uh, so these we'd have to probably paint gold. And um, here's the uh, the astronauts, which at first look kind of look a little um, out of scale, but then you realize how large the suits were back then, and they, then it makes kind of makes sense. Here's the backpacks and arms. Some of the. Uh, thruster components. For being 70 second scale, I'm sure there's three of those. And my apologies, again, a, a few of these pieces I'm showing you may be in the grayed out areas um, that are in the, uh, the manual there. Again, I'm not going to go through and find out specifically which ones are in use, which ones are not. You can do your own homework on that if you'd like. There have been quite a few of these uh, releases by Dragon. Um, there's larger scale, 40-second scale releases as well of, of individual units like the, the Lunar Module or the, or the CSM. They've done a, a, a Rover 48 scale that you can see here. So if you can get in here, let me pull back a little bit and I'll let's see yeah, some of the interior nozzle detail there. And here's the surface detail of the, of the CSM capsule. This one over on this side. And um, the last couple of screw sheets here. Get smart this time and actually use a box cutter with this. So if you have any comments or, or, or suggestions, please put them down in our comments area. Um, I know this is one of the first one of these reviews we're likely to put up, or reviews, I said, videos, I should have said, um, videos for uh, Model Geek. So, um, again, for you guys that don't frequent the other sites like Armorama where we've done these before, feel free to comment and let us know what you, what you think. Um, can't promise I'll make any sweeping changes, but I always do listen to the comments and uh, even criticism from people who want to try to make the site better. I appreciate your feedback. Um, again, some of the smaller bits basically on here, for, I think, for the lunar module. Um, it looks like they did their homework on this kit. I mean, again, I'm not trying to critique it in terms of saying it's perfect, but, but I'm seeing a lot of uh, very, very finely textured arms and pieces and so forth. And obviously, they, if they've done their homework and gone to um, the... Uh, trouble of maybe looking at some really, really good source material, and that's probably where a lot of this is coming from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the gold dishes here. Um, again, not uber close up, I realize, but I can try to get it up a little higher, I suppose. Uh, let's see if I can do that. The decal sheet on these. Uh, boy, that's just going to be too high. It's always a, a balancing act I'm trying to get the right size box. Right, so this thing, hold on. Okay, let's see if that is a little better. So you can see uh, some of the detail there. And uh, while you're looking at that, let me get the decal sheet disconnected here. Does have a nice cover on it, which is nice. Okay, go cool. away, little dish. This program is not on dish; it's only on DirecTV. Sorry, only us are going to get that one. All right, so there's your decal sheet. Uh, obviously, uh, little, 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 little. Uh, decals there. 
uh, or decals, as they would say in Great Britain. So uh, that pretty much uh, wraps this one up. Um, any information in the box here that might be interesting and relevant? Um, perform a nip, nip, nip. Um, they show the gold. And what's interesting is they show uh, pre-painted descent stage, and they show the upper piece in gold, and they show a lower piece in gold, but um, that's only, so don't, don't be fooled by the box. It says, on, it says on the side, special bonus for first production. And they show gold pieces for a lot of the other pieces. But in this box, which I think was the early production, it's only that one piece, that piece that I showed you that's in gold. The rest are all in gray plastic styrene. So that might be a little important uh, bit of information for you. Um, on the box, they also show gold. Uh, I'm not sure what height they were gold, but on the lunar rover, they show gold fender fenders and such for, the, for that as well. So, and I'm not sure why that, again, would have been gold boiled. Maybe because it was too reflective or something. Anyways. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you, again, if you have any comments or suggestions, put them in the comments area.